watching your life, but I like a candle. I'm holding on. Wish you never go. Where you go, I follow. Where you glow, I flow. Please, darling, don't blow away like the snow. Never, never, never say, say you will go, go from this life, life. Never feel it, never want it, never think it, never wish it. It's a beautiful life. Why, why, why do you, do you, do you give or give or give or fade, fade, fade? Say you want to go where you go, I follow. Where you go, I flow. Oh, oh I love you so. Never, never, never say, say, say You will, you will, you will find, find another life Life never think it, never feel it, never want it Oh, I love you so Where you go, I follow Say you want to go Where you go, I flow It's a beautiful soul Watching your life burn out like a candle I'm holding on Wish you never go Where you go I follow Where you glow I flow Please darling don't blow Away like the snow Hello? Hello Olivia You at my gate? Alright, come on in then Good. Well, I, I've been paid my first salary and I was kind of hoping you'd agree to take me shopping. I need to get a few things. You were paid? It's not on end yet, is it? I know, but she paid me anyway. Oh, really? She did. It's all right. Um, sit down, make yourself comfortable. I'll just uh, get my khaki. David. <clears throat> Just wanted to say thank you. You're a good man. Thank you. Sit down. Hey. You know, so that was how I came to live in Abuja and uh, started my own company. So, your turn. My turn what? Tell me about yourself. There's nothing to tell you. already know all there is to be known about me. I only know that you're sick. And that you live with that woman. And that you're not about Joffrey. So, I don't really know much. I mean, come on, I'm your friend. I've known you for about two weeks now. At least every friend is supposed to know a little about his friend. Please? Well, you're right. You've been very good to me. And the least I can do is tell you the whole truth about me, right? Yeah. My full name is Olivia Abel White. I'm the only surviving member of the Abel White family, which consisted of two girls and a boy. I lost my brother and sister to sickle cell. My brother was the first to go, and after he died, my father left my mom with her two girls because he discovered we all had the disease. Three years later, my sister died. And my mom died only two years ago. In a plane crash. So, you see, this is... 
me trying to get used to the fact that I'll be joining the family legacy. You know, I, I have mixed feelings about this because I'm happy I get to see my family again. But the fear of the unknown. Why have you brought us back here? Why are you lighting a candle? I'm in love with this candle. It is right before my eyes. Yeah, that's a bones bright and beautiful like this. My pen just grows heavier. Because I know it's burning out. I know it is dying slowly. Still, I love it. I'm trying to stop it from dying. But the candle just dies and it's killing me. I'm pleading with it. I'm begging it. I'm saying, Kendall, please, will you stay alive for me? Will you stay with me a little more? Will you be here? Don't go. But still, it dies. And it just kills me. It just kills me, all I know. Watching your life. I'm like a candle, I'm holding on Wish you never go, where you go I follow Where you glow I flow, please darling don't blow Away like the snow Are you coming in? I just got home. Because of Jeffrey? You two have a lot to talk about, I'm sure. Okay. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I see you're still hanging with that guy. 
What are you doing here? And who showed you this place? Well, I, uh... I... I came to thank you, actually, for the money. I withdrew it, then I called Samson and he gave me your address. You called Samson? Why didn't you just call me? I'd have given it to you. Well, I... I didn't know. I thought you wouldn't give me. You didn't know. Like, you don't know how much I love you, Jeffrey. In a very stupid way, if I may add. And him? David is my friend. I know he feels stronger than that for me, but notwithstanding, he's the only companion I have at this moment. Whatever, why are you sitting outside anyway? I, I went to the house. They don't know me, so I said I should wait here for you. I, I hope you didn't say anything about me because they don't know anything. No, I didn't tell them anything. All right, let's go inside. You, know, you know what? David would have taken this oh. bag. Oh, Olivia, Olivia, please, please, I don't like this. You don't like what? Why are you compare me with David? <laughs> because I wish you could be half the man he is, Geoffrey. You went shopping. Yes. And don't tell me you use your salary to shop for us. Well, I didn't need to shop for myself. I have everything I need. My soap, my cream, clothes and shoes. <sighs> Most especially a home where I'm loved by both of you. Thank you, Auntie. I'll check them out in Mommy's room. You will? We'll have fun doing that. <laughs> Bobby. See ya. Olivia, you see, if angels ever walked on this earth, you must be one. There is something different about you. Something I, I really... I figured out. I... I need to rest. Yeah, you, you need to rest there. Mm -hmm. Olivia. <laughs> Olivia. Olivia. Hey. Olivia. Olivia. What is wrong with her? Don't worry, don't worry. She'll be fine. We'll just get a taxi. We need to take her to the hospital. Olivia! Don't worry. She'll be fine. Just get a taxi, okay? Please, just get a taxi. Oh, right my now. God. Have mercy. Olivia. Come on, let's go. Let's go, baby. Oh. Oops. Yeah.
Anto Olivia, 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 With such pain. Ah, poor girl. Did you see the, the, the pain she went through before she passed out? Yeah. God. But it's one of our crises. Yeah, she'll be fine. It's actually normal with her. When it happens, you know, after a while, she'll be fine. Okay? <sighs> What is wrong with her? I, wh what did the doctor say? Uh, well, madam, since Olivia now lives with you, I might as well tell you. You see, Olivia has sickle cell anemia. of stress, depression, or exposure to much heat or cold could trigger off a crisis. In this case, I think it's the whole stress of running around and shopping for today. But don't worry, don't worry, she'll be fine, okay? Come on, madam, madam, she'll be fine. God have mercy. Are you sure she'll be fine? Madam, she will be fine. The doctor that is taking care of her right now is an experienced hematologist. And he has been doing that for a very long time. She will be fine. Okay? Come on, let's go and see her. She'll be fine. Okay? Let's go and see her. Please. Wipe your tears, please. Let's go. Too much. Let's go. Too much for that poor girl. Too much. She'll be fine. Let's go and see her. Wipe your tears, okay? All right. A bit weak, but doctor says I'll be fine. Did you tell her? Olivia, I just had to. I just had to. You live with her right now. Isn't it best she knows? Oh, no! Oh, God, I don't believe you. Olivia, please, I just had to tell her. At least. So she'll know what to do in case of future crisis. Jeffrey, I don't know what to say to you right now. Olivia. Are you angry with him? Please don't be. I think it's better I know. 
You know you're part of my family now. I, myself and my daughter love and care about you so much. Why exactly are you still hanging around, Jew? Has your love for me finally conquered your fear for death? Or is it just out of pity for a poor dying girl? Or maybe you feel obligated because I paid your school fees. Please, if that's the case, don't bother. No, no. You see, my love has conquered my fear. And Right now, I just want to be with you. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's just how sincere you look when you say these words. Honey, this is different. Totally different. You know, I... I've been doing a lot of thinking lately about us, and... I've made up my mind to be with you. Bobby. Hi. Goodbye. Yes. Olivia, how are you feeling? Fine. Yeah. How are you? I'm fine. Do you like your dresses? Yes. Olivia, I I brought part of the money they gave me to settle your hospital bill. Yes, I brought 100,000 Naira. Auntie, did you share mommy? Yes, sweetie. I heard. But I'm sorry, I can't take the money. Why is it small? Don't worry, I can bring all of it. No, 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 it's not that. I've paid for it, the bill. I'm sorry, I... A relative of mine came over and paid the bill, so... Keep your money. Get yourself a lawyer, that's what's important right now. Oh, David! Hey, how are you? Olivia, who told him you're here? He has as much right to be here as you do. David, David! Please, come in. much better if the two of you could be friends. Please, for my sake, at least say hi to each other. Bobby, you don't look happy at all. Hmm? You're not happy until you rest in the hospital, are you? Jeffrey, come on. Okay, if you want me to get out of this hospital alive, you have to say hi to yourselves. I'm sorry. Please. Look at you. What's your mother feeling? You're so happy. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. You. You're in final year, you're not? Yeah. And um, what are you studying? English. All right, um, don't forget to give me your phone number before you leave here so I could call you from time to time and check on you and send you a little something for school. Okay. All right, I'll take your number too. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? <sighs> now I'm happy. I'm surrounded by everybody I care about. Life is beautiful, after all. It's getting 
getting very hot, so we had better be going. Besides, almost time for Bobby's evening lessons. Honey, don't you think it's time to come back home? I mean, you've done so much for that family. You've given them money, your time, everything. And come back to a more comfortable environment. Let, let us take care of this thing together, please. Having a change of environment was the whole idea in the first place. Besides, I'm happy. I'm finally doing something meaningful with my life. I'm touching the lives of others in a way I never thought possible. Like you know, I've never worked a day in my life. I'm happy doing the job I do, not knowing where my next meal will come from. I'm glad to be living a normal life. No matter how short. Do you understand? Yeah. And thank you for not telling them where we are. Lots of joy. That is person, man or woman, who remembered me before has remembered me again. And I call for God's blessing to fill him up. I mean from head to toe. But please tell him we're not going to accept his money unless we see him in person. Hmm? Tell him it is our utmost desire to see the face of a good man who has blessed our lives in more than many ways already. Hey, madam. There is one millionaire in this envelope here. Do you realize uh, how much money you are rejecting? What my mommy is saying is we will no longer accept help from a person we don't know and cannot say thank you to. Okay, I will tell him what you've said. But please do accept this one that he has sent already. I will tell him before he send any other one more. Please. Please take the money back to him. Hmm? And tell him to reveal his, his kind self to us first. Did I tell you she was dying? Sorry, I'll be inside. What did you do? Go about telling the boy what I'm sick and dying? It's really, it's really, wait, 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 don't get upset with me, please. I, it, it, it's not how it happened. I, I, I just, I just needed someone to confide in. It, it's not what will happen, please. Don't get angry, okay? Just brief him on it and get back to him. Honey, don't get angry, please. It, it, it's... Yeah. Oh. Okon! First of all, Okon, I'm not going to shout and scream at you for being so insensitive and letting your mouth drip. I'm not even going to get upset for this particular day that you've done me wrong, Okon. Bros, sorry now. Uh -uh. I was only excited when I saw both of you together. You know, now I begin talk. I talk good talk, bad talk. 
You know we political science students, we talk too much. Forgive me now. Anyways, whatever. Okon, we need you to assist us. Who is we? Ah. Olivia and I now, who else? I did hear you. As I was saying, we need you to pretend to be a very rich man. Now, the story is very simple. Olivia is living with a family in Dubai. A woman that has been divorced by the husband and she's living with the daughter. Now, Olivia has been sending them money. She sent the first one and they accepted. She sent the second one, they did not accept. Why? Are they crazy? Okon, can you just keep quiet? Let me finish. I'm quiet. Continue. Now, they desire to see the person that has been sending them the money. At least to thank the person before accepting the next one. Strange. This is very strange. It beats my imagination as to why some people behave this way. Well, Okon, my friend, it is called decency. Everybody is not like you. Some people are decent. Or like you, Geoffrey. Now you know like money. You think I don't know why you are dating Olivia? <laughs> Okon, 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 please. Let's not digress and forget the matter at hand, please. Now, you want me to act as the benefactor, helping this man and her child, Abby? Exactly. I can do it. But you and Olivia have to pay me money, cash. There are about five different Senegalese brocades in there. And I'll try each of them and I will know the one that best gives you the, the look you want. Is it the look you want or the look I want? Shut up, you two talk. Do you make that much? Oh boy, don't tell me to shut up. And I'll go to that woman and her daughter and tell her what people are up to. Ah, you don't know this one is an impersonation. How can you say that kind of thing? Who are we impersonating? Who? Am I a rich man? Do I have 5,000 naira in my account? I'm, I'm, I'm pretending to be a rich man. Is that not impersonation? I beg, hurry up. I have a lot of things to do today. But there's no blue now. And I like blue. Only sky blue. Well, I'll manage it. How did it go? It's all I could get. After paying the lawyer and about the school fees. Oh, so you paid for her school fees as well? That's very good. Yeah. But does that mean you won't be needing a governess anymore? No. Come on. You're part of the family now. Hmm? Anyway, I had only 3,000 naira on me, so I couldn't buy fr frozen chicken to fry for him. Is, is that what's bothering you? Yes. At least our benefactor will know we're not ungrateful. Don't worry. I'm sure he would appreciate whatever we give him, but, but if you insist, I can always give you some of my salary. No. You can't do that. Keep it. You will need it. Okay? At least our benefactor will have to do without fried chicken. He knows we are not well to do for us. He knows it. Trust me, I don't think he will mind. <clears throat> Why don't you rest? And I'll prepare this food myself. Oh, no. I have to help you.
some people are here. Hey. And good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, gentlemen. You're welcome. Um, is this the man who said I and my family should not die? Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, you are, you are correct, madam. Uh, Mr. Okoniwala. Oh my God. Yay. Young man, may the kindness and mercy of the Lord follow you all the days of your life. Madam, thank you. And as you have extended life to me and my family, may God extend life to you abundantly. Amen. Sit up. Please do not kneel down for me. I receive from God without paying a price. So do I give to your family without a price. Thank you very much. May God bless you too, and the whole house. But still, God bless you. Thank you, madam. Ah, see, ah, you see, you're very much welcome to my humble home. Please, I have prepared something little for you to eat. Thank you. Becky, can we go? I beg. Okay. Hey, God bless you. You didn't say you were taking this. You see, when I first started business, I started as a rice merchant. I got my money through hard work, sheer doggedness, and the will to succeed. Unfortunately for me, I succeeded. It is always good to have money in your bank account. But I think it is always better to, you know, bring out some to help people. I mean, the poor, the poor. Please, sir. But how did you know us? Little girl, there was this day I was passing by with my Jaguar. Mm -hmm. And I saw this man running a business at you. I almost set my mopole on him. But then, I just said, what the hell? And I left him. That was the day I knew people. Oh, that must be my ex-husband. Yes, yes. So I was told by some people around. And they even told me about the divorce. So I said to myself, these are the kind of people I should help. This woman and her child need help. So I sent my boy here, Samson. I sent him to you with some money. Well, sir, may God bless you abundantly for helping this family. Amen. And so let's eat. You know, it's one of those things I normally do, helping the poor. I normally, <laughs> you know, <laughs> sorry, my, you know, this is very cheap. It's not of my class. And besides, uh, my servants normally do it in my house, so I don't do things like this. <laughs> so let's drink, let's drink. I heard you were too much. I heard you were exceptional. You need to be there to see how I did it. I am a natural actor. Forget. <laughs> wait, 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 Oko. What are you feeling like? I do am well now. No, no, no. Tell me, what are you feeling like? Because I said you did it well. Oko, I think. Anyway, uh, she asked me to give you this. And how much is this? 20 grand. All for you. Oh, but I don't pass that level. Take this money back to her and tell her to give me 200,000 or else I'll expose everything. Okay. Uh -huh. Come on. You won't grab my wife's speaker for 20,000. They're gonna toss no start time. I know this money will give up. We'll collect. Why are you behaving like this? I told you I didn't trust that friend of yours. Now look at it. How am I supposed to give him 200,000 for just posing as a rich man? What does he mean? I mean, it's not like he has a genuine problem or something that I have to help him with. Look, 
Sweetie, this is cheap blackmail. Honestly, honey, I'm not falling for honey, it. Honey, I know. I, I, I understand what you're saying, but let's just give him the money and let him go with his troubles. Next time, we'll look for a more decent person to use. Next time? Like I'm supposed to show her different people every day as her benefactor. <sighs> well, guess we are stuck on a cone then. I don't like this. In fact, I'm not falling for it. <sighs> Sweetie, I don't like it too. Honestly, I don't, but... I don't know, let's just give it to him and let him go. Okay? Let's see if we can buy ourselves a car each out of this deal. Kun, you are a devil. I know. But think about cruising around the campus in your own car. Pips go they hail. Think I'm well, well, Lou. Think I'm well. More money. Tell her I need one million naira more. Kun, 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 you are crazy. I mean, what makes you think it matters to Olivia whether Comfort knows or not? Joffrey. Olivia needs that family, with her health condition. That family is the only psychological piece she has. So, she will pay any amount not to lose the family. You think I'm stupid, Abby? <laughs> I have put two and two together. So just tell her, tell her. Like money. <laughs> <laughs> no, honey, I, I know, I know, but let's just give him the money and let him go. My friend, we do no such thing. No meaning for what? Honey, I understand what you're saying. I, 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 I'm not happy about the situation, but let's just give... Sweetie, listen, listen, listen. Okon is actually a bag of troubles. Let's just settle this guy and let him go, please. That's what you said the first time. 200,000, now he's asking for 1 million. What's the guarantee that we'll give him this one and he won't ask for another one? Look, listen to me. I'm not giving him. I'd rather throw that money at a beggar on the street. Honey, if we don't, if we don't settle him, he's going to tell comfort. And uh, I don't think you'll like it. Uh, let him go. Let him do his worst. I'm not giving him. Joffrey, you don't return. You mean say money done the Where is it? Bro, she refused though. She says she's not paying a couple. Not what? even a single couple. You are a liar. Joffrey, you are a liar. Okay. You collected the money and want to keep it to yourself, right? Kun, Okun, Okun, can you just keep quiet and listen? Keep quiet for where now? Uh, when I collected 200 k I will share it 50 50 without you asking me. Now it's your turn, you prefer to treat me like this. No trouble, no, no Okon, trouble. Okon, can you just listen to me, please? Look, back to me. You must vomit that money. Wait and watch. Okon, Okon, she said she's not paying one, not even a cover. Okon, Okon. Ah. Okon, come. Okon. Okay, you don't see the tree. Okay, just they walk straight, they come. Okay. Yes, Okun, what is it? Ah, Olivia, make we greet now. Which one? I'm not here to smile with you, alright? Just tell me what is so urgent that you needed to see me. Like you know, I don't care for you one bit. Neither do I trust you. So please, hurry. You know, trust me. But you trust you for your boyfriend, I think. 
Okay, for your information, the 200,000 Naira you gave to me, we shared it 50-50. Here you get. Oh, you don't know? Okay, that one is by the side. My problem is that you gave him one million Naira now. He has kept everything to himself. He refused to give me my own share. So I told him, I'll come and expose you. This is why I'm here. I don't believe you. Oh, you don't believe me? Okay. That one now, no problem. The thing where I want now, now money. If you don't give me money, I'll go to comfort. I'll expose you. I'll tell her that you are not the poor girl you pretend to be. That you're a rich girl. I don't know where you're living with them. Maybe you have a plan. Who even knows? So, don't say to me. If you don't say to me, I'll go tell her. You're a devil. You are the serpent himself. No problem. Just give me money. Now money I want. Money. Olivia! Olivia! You never can go? Okay. I go show you. I go go with Madame Comfort, please. You go see. Share you, they call me Serpent, Abby. Your boyfriend, you know, see the only Hindu. You they call I go show you Serpent style. You don't know who I am. Eh? Look me in the eye and deny it. Honey, this is not how it happened. Please, let Did me just you explain. Take a hundred thousand from Oko. And yeah, I, 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 I did, but it, it, it's it's not. Can I just again? You disappoint me. Haven't I shown you love? Haven't I given you enough love, Geoffrey? Tell me, what wrong have I done to you to deserve this kind of treatment? This level of betrayal. Is that what I mean to you? Is that all that I am to you? A bank? That in my condition, at this critical point in my life, you still have the heart. Please, can I, can I just explain that it's, it's not what you think. I don't ever want to see your face again. You don't, don't look for this. me, because you won't find me. But you don't, you really don't do this. I do not worry, I know you are like, but I tell you, Olivia, loving him is what will kill you. Do you want to die of a broken heart before the sickle cell kills you? Is that what you want to do? Olivia. 
Olivier. That was how they paid me 200,000 Naira to pretend to be the one helping you people. I am not the one helping you. I am a poor finance student. Olivia is the one sending the whole money. Olivia is a rich girl. In fact, the money her family has can buy half of Guarimpa Estates. I don't know why she's living here. And I don't know why she's pretending to be poor. Mr. Okon. We've heard all you said. But please, where is Olivia now? Yes, where is my aunt? I don't know. But you can call Samson or Jufri. They will know. Oh, David. Jufri. Thank God you're here. David, do you know why I called you? Because I wanted you to witness firsthand the result of your antics. David. The result of your handiworks, Geoffrey. David, what are you talking about? All thanks to extortion antics. Oh, okay, David, where is the doctor right now, please? The doctor is in there with her. I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of phoning comfort as well. Oh, no, no, don't do that. Don't do that. It's, it's going to create panic, and we don't want that right now, please. Geoffrey, what do you know about panic? <sighs> Look, I, I, I know this is my fault, but don't worry, she'll be fine, okay? She'll be fine. It's, look, this whole thing is, you know, it happens all the time. It's part of our crisis. She'll be fine. I, I, I know that, okay? Please. What kind of holy guy are you, your friend? Oh, yeah, doctor. How is she? She suffered a brain stroke. Dead cells sticking to blood vessels in the brain. She must have been stressed or depressed, you know? We gave nitric oxide to free cells from the cells. And we gave her butyric acid to increase the level of hemoglobin in her blood. Doctor, please. Please, how is she right now? So, how is she now? Can we go and see her? Is she awake? We gave her the best. But the poor child is gone. What? Doctor, gone as in... As in gone to where? What do you mean gone? Yes, she died. I'm, I'm talking about Olivia, the same one that came to my house and, and we spoke and, and I brought her here and, and she passed out in my house and, and then, and then we, we came to the hospital and then you said she was going to be alright and then she went to the ward. We tried our best. Doctor gone? Come down. Doctor gone? Gone to where?
could always have to die. <laughs> Why did you take her away from us? We know you love her, but we love her too. Come on. Okay, okay. I'll finish packing up things. But this, this is what I found in our room. This is your envelope. It looks like her will. We'll take it to her lawyers. Do you know them? Yes, I do. Just keep it. We can go now. Um, please, let us know the barrier arrangements. We want to be there. something in her will for all her friends. And these two gentlemen brought it to my chambers. She's made out a sum of seven million naira for you in this check. For you and for Babi. And I guess you're in the list of her friends too. many lives with happiness. Fly on, Angel. And may God grant you rest in this bosom. Mommy, the whole several million for us. Yes, my dear. 
we are okay now. An angel has touched our lives and turned it from sorrow to joy. Yeah. <laughs>